Ever since I got into 3D printing, I had a hard time to accept how slow it was. Some videos on YouTube showing fast 3D printer were just so slow. I refused from the beginning to accept that reality. And this is one of the main reasons why I have designed the Evort. I wanted to have a decent sized 3D printer that could print faster. Now as the printer is working in the background on that second attempt on my fastest Banshee, let's talk about that race, the Speedboat Race Challenge. It was during last December that I have spotted a video from Annex Engineering with their K2 printer realizing two Banshees within 40 minutes. I was really impressed. From there, I worked quite hard at tuning and prepping my printer for a test run. After several trials, I have set a chrono of 16 minutes 19 seconds. The guys at Annex Engineering had the great idea to organize a contest to find the fastest Banshee out there. See the link to the official challenge video up here. Since the creation of this challenge, we have seen all kinds of benchies, always faster one after another, from 11 minutes down to 10, down to 9, down to 8, even 7, and then 6, and guess what, now 5. Nitram holding the current record with an impressive 5 minutes 45 seconds on his mean Delta printer. Reaching 5 minutes on my printer right now sounds almost impossible to me. But definitely the 16 minutes from previous video can be improved. Let's see what I have changed and revised for that second submission to the Speedboat Race Challenge. I have started by significantly reduced the moving mass of both my X and Y axis. On the y-axis, I have traded my 2020 aluminum profile for a square carbon fiber tube that now holds my MGM line rail. That tube made me lose quite a bit of weight while keeping rigidity to a very good level. You can find the link to that carbon fiber tube into the video description. Now for the x-axis, I've been a bit more creative. I went with the complete redesign of my print head by incorporating directly an extruder into it. This extruder that I have named the Hextrudort over probably too many beers is made from the Sabaldio round NEMA 14 motor as the Orbiter and the Sherpa Mini. The internal components of the mighty and popular BMG extruder are used to transfer the motion from the motor to the filament. This combo is light and quite powerful, but also has the advantage of keeping the print head's center of gravity very close to the X axis. The second improvement point is on the firmware side. And this is one of the most impacting changes that I have done to the printer for this second Benchy erase attempt. I have moved to the Clipper firmware. Clipper uses an external processor to digest the G-code and establishes the step and direction data that will then be fed to the stepper motors via the control board. This extra brain power typically provided by a Raspberry Pi ensures that the print moves will keep up the pace and will not be affected by stuttering like I used to get with my previous firmware. Not only does Clipper enhance the printing speed, but it manages the ringing and resonance of your printer using two methodologies, one of them being with the help of an accelerometer. By inducing vibration through the printer using the stepper motors, Clipper will measure the specific resonance values echoed into your printer's belts and structure. The obtained data from the accelerometer is then compiled and analyzed by the Raspberry Pi. The resulting parameters will then be used to drive the motors in a way to compensate that inherent resonance of your printer. Amazing results are then obtained due to the greatly reduced, if not completely removed, ringing artifact from your print. Such feature is key, especially on core XY printer like the Havort that can sometimes have pretty long belts due to the print size. The third item that I've been looking into was my X and Y gantry linear rails alignment and lubrication. I was previously using pretty thick oil with stabilizer additives. For durability and low printing speed, this combo was efficient and required very low maintenance, but it was adding a bit of drag on the X and Y carriages. Following the advice of my good friend Vez 3 d I have cleaned my rails and relubricated them with PTFE dry lube. I invite you to have a look to his YouTube channel link up here if you want to see some pretty crazy 3D printing. A fine tuning of the rails alignment also removed a bit of drag on the system. I have now something that really flies. The last thing I have changed 
from my previous 16 minute chrono is the type of filament used. After the first three points we just went through, print time significantly improved, but I realized that PLA was now my roadblock. PLA is a lot more viscous than ABS, even if you crank up the printing temperature pretty high. It will hit a limit at which it can't be shaped to the required path as fast as I need. For this reason, I had to try something else. All other fat benches out there were being done out of ABS, so why not give it a try? To my great surprise, ABS flows really good and can take some serious temperature. I'm using 300 degrees Celsius for this current print. I was even more surprised at the amount of cooling I could throw to that ABS. I mean, I literally threw all I had, which means my EVAC system, my bird air, everything was at the max, and I felt I could give it even more. So I have added two Radial 120mm fans beamed directly to the part. No warping, great layer adhesion. This is really shaking all my beliefs about ABS. Bed adhesion was realized using a few layers of Majigu disposed in a textured manner. Alright, now that you know all my secrets, or almost all of them, let's see what settings were used for this print. As the rules from the Speedboat Race Challenge requires, I have made a slice with the following profile using Idea Maker from Race 3D. I am using a 0.25 layer height, 0.5 line width, 2 walls, 3 bottoms, 3 tops, 10% in fill, and I am using a default print speed of 320 mm per second with an inner and outer wall speed at 300. Solid infill is set to 250 mm per second. The printer settings are acceleration set at 34,000 mm per second square and acceleration to deceleration to 15,000. Square corner velocity is set to 20 mm per second. So now, let's back to that Banshee. Where are we now? A chrono of 7 minutes and 11 seconds. Let's have a closer look. Obviously this is not a perfect Benchy and I was not expecting it to be. But considering that it was made in less than half of the time it took to print my previous 16 minute Benchy, I think it is not bad at all. What do you think? As usual, I look forward to read your feedback and impressions into the comment section of this video. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. I invite you to subscribe to my channel if it's not already done and hit the bell to be notified of new content. See you soon and meanwhile, happy printing.